You know, every time I think that I've seen everything that Skyrim has to offer, we find something new. And a lot of the times it feels like it's something dwarven, because they really, really knew how to hide every single one of their structures, strongholds, and so on. I'll discover that in a second. Let me just get some iron ore. I need to get alteration to 100, and transmuting the iron ore might be one of the faster ways for me to do so. Imagine if I could teach Lucian Transmute. I guess maybe that wouldn't be all that useful, maybe, but... It could save me some time, even if it means that I wouldn't level my alteration as much and as quickly. I think that's probably the last one I had. Nope, I had more. Did I have more iron ore in my inventory? I... I think I the probably life did. down here is fascinating. Natural bioluminescence. But for what purpose? Of... Lucy and I got bad news. You're not in Blackreach right now. You might want to get your eyes checked if you think we're underground in Blackreach right now. Because how much gold ore was that? It was only six, okay, nothing crazy, but free gold, right? As for alteration, 93, still have a little bit more to go. I can do it, I can reach 100. If anything, now the trick is for me to just keep on buying all the iron ore I see in cities, just to transmute that, just to try and reach 100. Now, this is really out of the way. Kagrenzel discovered. Also, discovered a frost troll up there. He's just trying to pick on that fox. Oh, not trying to pick on the fox. He did pick on the fox very well. One last shot. And I should probably swap off of my silver bolts while I'm at it too, but let me just grab his troll fat. He's not gonna need it to keep himself warm anymore. Moonstone ore... eh. Doesn't do anything for me. What's that over there? Is that more moonstone? Gold? It's too yellow to be iron. But it could be gold. It is gold, honestly. Let's go with that, because I can use this to make more jewelry to continue to work on my enchanting as well, because I'd like to get enchanting, alteration. Yeah, let's get those to 100. I'm not too sure about some of my other skills, but those we will get to 100, and they will stay at 100 when that time comes. Well, Kagrenzel, it's really up there in the mountains. It's really out of the way, really well hidden. So somehow I don't think we're going to find bandits in this one. See? So far, no bandits. Usually if there's bandits involved, we'll see them outside. There's usually a few clues as to who's inhabiting the place. Oh wait, someone has been here. Oh. Well, let me look at... Okay, well, go figure. There were bandits here. They didn't last very long against... Whatever that is. Can I get Lucian to touch it? Lucian Flavius, reporting for duty. I'm glad you said it. Can you... Do something for me? Certainly. What needs doing? Well, there's this, uh... This orb. I am at your service. This strange orb. And I feel like I usually touch a lot of the strange things. Sure. It's your turn. Uh-oh. Uh, maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I should have touched it. Maybe no one should have touched it. 
There's that orb. It's mocking us now. Is it just going to keep spinning around? I like how calm you are. You're just smiling, just enjoying this. I'm enjoying nothing about any of this at all. Orb. Uh-oh. Why is it glowing? Why is it blue? Why do the dwarves even make this place? Is this just some sort of weird elaborate trap? Are we gonna get murdered? Uh-oh. Oh, maybe murdered. Maybe, maybe, maybe murdered. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh! Okay. That was way too close. I saw my life flash before my eyes as I nearly collided with that walkway right there. Oh. Lucian, I'm sorry I made you touch the weird orb thing. I'll do it myself next time. We will return to whence we came. Oh god, it's another one of those. Well, I did say I needed more of the... Puzzle cubes? Gehenoth is just... Fighting the Cosmonaut down there. Can I hit them? Can I just murder them from here? Gehenoth? Hmm, Gehenoth does not seem to mind me attacking him. He actually healed up to full. Okay, well that did the trick. He just doesn't seem to mind the crossbow whatsoever. Well, in that case, it's a good thing we have Elemental Burst. Or I could miss. Or You're I could not miss again. listening! Just going through him right now. Okay, that hit him. So let's get our magic back up to full. And I have learned to aim downwards more. Some of them are still going just right through him. I gotta really aim down, because I guess he just really knows how to dodge them. This is why you bring potions with you. This is why you need more and more potions. The real trick's gonna be getting to... What was it, that Cosmonaut? Once I'm done with Gehenoth. Not Cosmonaut, Commandant. Sorry. The Aether Knot Commandant. Oh. Oh, that's the dead bandit. Okay, I saw the body. I got a little concerned, because I haven't seen Lucian yet. Can I hit you? Ooh, resisted. Hmm. Well, that's going to be tricky, because I need you to come out of the water. I'm trying to hit you with a crossbow. Oh, never mind. Not that bad. It's actually not too terrible. This is like shooting fish in a barrel, but... I guess if it works... Because he just won't come to me, he will not... Can you hear them calling? Join me here on the field of battle. So this is becoming the most anticlimactic set of fights I've ever been in, but... What am I gonna do? Leave him be here in the middle of this... open... cavern? I should be so lucky! Well, just... let me... see what you had. Where would his ashes even go? There they are. The Commandant's Puzzle Cube. Helm of the Aethernaut allows you to breathe in any environment and offers minor resistance to all elements. I'm gonna take my bolts back, gonna take the potions and all of that. Alright. If only Lucian could have been here to see all this. Where is he? I'm hoping he didn't hit the platform and just explode. Because that'd be pretty bad. That would kind of suck if that's how he went. I don't think so, though. Lucian, he's sturdy. He's a survivor. We've trained him well, although I cannot grab these mushrooms, which I really wanted. We're gonna have more Falmer, aren't we? Always more Falmer. Oh, is that another cave -in? It might be. Let me also get Soul Trap at the ready. 
The one solitary rock. When I was concerned about an actual cave in. <laughs> oh, come back here, please. Because I know I have both one handed. Oh, hi, Lucian. I have both one handed and two handed that I don't have back at a hundred yet. But how close do I have them? Heavy armor 94, block 53, two handed 95, one handed 100. So focus on two handed for now. I could make one handed legendary again. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Why not? And I realize it's not even going to be an effective way to level anymore. Like, it's a diminishing return sort of deal, but... Still, I'm just gonna go for it. Still, I might as well, as I use my other skills and try to level my other skills as well. Ta-da! 16. Barely levels me, barely improves anything, but hey, I'll take it. Right now, I'll take whatever I can... I'll take the jeweled necklace for enchanting purposes. Did Lucian kill a bunch of Falmer on the way? Nope, never mind. He definitely did not, because they're just running up to me. They're just lining up to fight me now. I don't think I hit all of them. Oh, I'm about to die. Okay. That was a little bit much. I'm going to do Fortify Destruction. I'm going to restore my Magicka. And, well, my stamina's fine. Might be time to start using the white file again, honestly. Might be a good time for me to start using that again. Ow! As always, ah! I just, I do recognize the irony that I use my magic warp now that I'm already Archmage. Then I used my magic back when I was still training at the college. Where did that other Falmer go? Did he just... Oh, he fell all the way down. I don't know if we're going to be able to fight him. And I did not mean to hit myself with that. Uh, trying to aim it down there. I don't want to fall back down there. Oh, hello. Sorry that I did not see you there. And one-handed raised once again. Let me just heal up while I'm at it, too. I know we're going to have so many Falmer to fight. So if anything, it was weird of me to jump to bandits being in here. Because I really should have jumped to, um, you know, Falmer. First and foremost. Lucian, do you think we would both look good in silver armor? I know I've been rocking this silver armor for ages, but... Do you think we'd look good if we both matched? Do you, do you think we would look silly? Also, I never would have guessed that this would link all the way back to Stony Creek cave. Oh! I'll put you in the ground. Come on! Wait, I don't want to use uh, <laughs> sorry I, I don't want to use uh, the soul trap against the bandit. I'm not about that. I don't want to send anyone ever into the soul cairn. Hey, free ore, right? So I guess it's all moonstone ore, although that looks like iron right there. I'll just check the chest instead. I feel like leaving a lit torch in a chest is a strange idea, but clearly you didn't burn the place down. Maybe that's why you locked it. Maybe somehow locking it saved all of you. Doesn't make any sense, but hey, you did survive down here somehow. Oh, did I set off a trap? 
I think I did. I think I very much did. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need to heal up. I'm going to need to heal. You're dead. You hear me? Enemy defeated. Go us. Got a little close for a second. I got a little scared. Hello? No bandit leader? Was that the bandit leader, the Khajiit? I guess so. Ectoplasm takes some death bell. Check the chest. Probably nothing of real note or interest. Not particularly. I could take the staff, but I'm at the point where do I really need to take more magical staves to sell them for more gold? No, I'm not worried about the gold anymore. And I know I've said that many times before, and I just picked up a coin purse anyway, but... It's not my first priority. The way that it has been for so many of my adventures leading up till now. I'm sure that one bandit certainly didn't expect someone to drop in from the ceiling and just murder him. It's gonna be a little bit of a trek, but I wanna head back to Dawnstar. We were invited to the opening of a museum there ages ago, and at the time I refused to take part, I refused to help out. But since then I had inadvertently found two of the three pieces of the Shards of Mayrun's Dagon that the curator, that the owner, had asked for. At this point, I think it would be better if I were the one to gather the three pieces, and then I might be able to decide for myself what to do with them to make sure they don't fall into the wrong hands. Whether that's his hands or someone else, well, we don't know yet, but I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I was the one to make sure that we knew what happened with them. Did you have any questions about the museum, or would you rather talk business? I suppose we should probably talk business. A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. Good. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group. And they're right here, in Skyrim. Well, it just so happens I already found two of the fragments. Inadvertently, not intentionally, it's as if fate had a plan for me. You want me to get these fragments? At least two of the owners, Gonzol and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. I would like to know more about the Razor. The Razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his Razor would be invaluable to my collection. You know, I just still find it a little strange how dedicated you are to gathering everything, given that you're wearing the robes. It's a little unsettling. I would like to hear from you what you think of Mehrun's Dagon. I want to hear what your thoughts on the Daedric Prince of Change and Destruction is. Ah, an excellent question. Mehrun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Mm-hmm. Dagon's mythic dawn cult killed the Septim dynasty and opened the Oblivion gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. Well, yes, I'm familiar. I'm from Cyrodiil. I 
grew up hearing a lot about the Oblivion Crisis. Good luck finding the fragments. Yeah, well, I have two of them, but he doesn't need Those to know that Those robes were yet. worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the Daedra Mehrunes Dagon into Tamriel. Nearly succeeded, too. Each bolt too. of yarn used to make the robe was colored with a dye made from sacrificial blood. You see, this is why no one comes to your museum. They are just a little creeped out by everything. Ah, yes. That scabbard. Notice the insignia? An oblivion gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon, the patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn. I'm surprised Lucian hasn't said anything yet. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's side. If I remember my history classes correctly, the paradise was actually kind of a land of torture and torment and a lot of terrible things. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. The fact that you said It said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. You know, I can't really tell with you because you said blasphemous book. So unless you meant that as a good thing, like you're glad that it was blasphemous, I'm just really not sure what side you're on anymore. And it just makes me a little confused. Well, back to Morthal, I suppose. Let's go find out about the shard. I've been looking for you. Oh? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. From who? Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. It's not concerning at all, right? I get notes all the time. I get strange notes all the time. Let's just see the mysterious note. Oh. Hmm. Don't look at me like that, Lucian. Don't give me that look. How can I assist? Well, uh, just watch my back. Let's go. Do me a favor, watch my back, because right now, I don't feel all that great. Been a murder over in Riften. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children must be heartbroken. Yeah, starting to get a little bit of an uneasy feeling. What can I say? The mill is my responsibility. And that's what I care about. That's all. Understand? Understood. I just want to be left alone to do my job. And to enjoy what little free time I have when I have it. Well, I'll be out of your hair in a second. I'm looking for pieces of... Mehrun's razor. Don't know what you're talking about, stranger. Really? Because, um, I had it on good authority. That you might know something about it. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic Dawn. Guess they were true. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead cult. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. I can pay for the hilt. Divines know the mill could use some new blades. I could All right. pay for the hilt. Sure. Here's the keys. It's locked in the chest inside my house. If it's any consolation, I don't Until really want to give it back to the Mythic Dawn either, but... At this point, it seems like sooner or later someone's gonna get the pieces, whether it's me or someone else, seeing as I've already found two of them. So really, I feel like the best course of action is that I know where the pieces are and that I'm able to do something about it. Wait. Where is... Oh, there it is. Sorry, I was looking on the floor. It wasn't on the floor, though. Now, was it?
What is it? Do you have one of the razor fragments? I have all three pieces. All at once? You're efficient. I like that. Here's your reward. That's a lot of gold. Finally, all the pieces of Merun's razor are in my hands. It's time I let you in on something. Oh. There's a fourth piece, that scabbard in the display case, built to house the razor. And there's more. I know how to put all the pieces together. We just need to take them to Dagon's shrine and contact the Lord of Change directly. Uh-oh. This sounds like a terrible idea. You don't want to be a part of history? Fine. I'll be at the shrine if you change your mind. No, I'm gonna go with you then. If there's no talking you out of it, I might as well go because I need to make sure that nothing bad happens. Let's not bring the razor to Dagon. Let's not let him do anything with it now. He's in a rush. He's in a little bit of a hurry. Where is this? Where are we going for this? Shrine of Mayrun's Dagon by Stone Hills and Skyborn Altar. Little bit of a circle, going a little bit of a circle, went from Dawnstar to Morthal, back to Dawnstar, and now going back in the direction of Morthal. That's just how it goes sometimes. Good, you're here. I'll place the pieces on the altar, and Dagon should speak to us. Merun's Dagon, the Lord of Change. We have brought your razor to you. We beg you, please, bring the blade's full glory to Tamriel again. It's not working. Why don't you give it a try? Just put your hands on the altar. Do I have to? Uh, here it goes, I guess. You, mortal. You are worthy of speaking to. No. You have claimed the pieces of my razor. It has been an amusing game to witness. But Dagon does not declare a winner while there is a pawn on the board. Kill Silas. He and his family have served their purpose. He helped me find the pieces. He deserves to live. Only Dagon can declare if a pawn is worth keeping. I have spoken. Kill him. Take your rightful place as my champion, or I will crush you. I'd like to see you try. Wait, wait. Don't kill me. There's another way. Oh? I can take the pieces back to my museum, seal them in a display case. You get a generous amount of gold, I get to complete my collection, and nobody has to die. And hopefully this dissuades you from thinking that Dagon is your friend. Take the pieces, get out of here while you still can. Thank you. Here's your gold. I'll make a run for it back to Dawnstar. Lucian will protect you. He'll you make sure you get out of here. You to betray Mayrun's Dagon. Suffer. Okay, well, very quickly, before anything else happens, a uh, slow time what to try and keep Silas alive. Oh, never mind. Well... There goes Silas. I mean, I probably should have figured. Well, I guess the one upside is no one is going to uh, complete his collection. And no, it's not exactly how I expected any of this to go, but I didn't want the Razor to fall into the wrong hands, and now I can guarantee that it won't. Well, not really, because now the pieces are gone too. So maybe I messed up a little bit more than usual. Maybe I really, really messed up here. Who knows? This is why people think the Vigil and Estendar are ineffectual, because there was an entire shrine to Mayrun's Dagon here, and they never did anything to destroy it, to tear it down. So they really come across as a little ineffectual. They really come across as a little, uh, useless. 
frankly. See, one handed already increased to 22. Can I take that mask off you? I'm building a house, and I could use that for my display purposes. No, I can't. Should we be concerned about the Oblivion Gate right here? Clearly they've never managed to open it or do anything with it, but... Suffice it to say, a little concerning. Ooh, more gold. Don't mind if I do. Take some soul gems, glow dust. What am I going to do? Leave all this stuff here for, uh, Mayrun's Dagon servants? I don't think so. All of this is ours now, and unfortunately, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happened to the pieces of the razor, but Mayrun's Dagon did not reform the razor, so I guess that's the best case scenario here. For now, at least. Well, I don't really feel great about a lot of this. Let's head back to Whiteland. Let's go tell Ayla that we managed to kill that bear. I'll just stick to the things that I'm good at. You know? <laughs>